Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking men's skincare, something which I feel really interested in and very often I try all different products, whether that be through from shaving, whether that be through having concerns of dry skin, oily skin, many different reasons. But today we are looking at the L'Oreal Men Experts Vita Lift Anti-Aging Daily Moisturiser with five actions against signs of aging. Now, before you switch off, before you go elsewhere, I know I am young, I know I don't necessarily need to use it for anti-aging, but first things first, just because a product is anti-aging does not mean that it's just for the effects of anti-aging. Very often I find with an anti-aging product which is designed for men's skin, it is fantastic at addressing the concerns and the needs of dehydrated skin, skin that looks really, really quite dull, skin that's quite dry, um, and just needs that zing back into it, that sort of, that healthy sort of look as though you're ready to take on the day ahead, or if you've got, say for example, the reason why I use it is I have been going through some health problems for the past few months, I've had a huge tragedy in my family, my world's been turned upside down, and very often I don't sleep at night, and the first tell signs of this is the corner of my eyes here become very, very dark. So to be quite honest with you, it looks as though I'm a bit of a zombie when I'm walking around. Now, I find it very, very difficult. I think in, in society which we live in and the pressures of everything, sleep is so vitally important. But if you don't get the correct sleep or if you don't get the correct hours of switching off from everything, be it work, be it technology, be it just daily life, your skin really, really tells the signs of this. And mine certainly does. It looks clear, it looks bright, it looks youthful. Now that's because of the lighting, which great lighting can absolutely <laughs> be very, very forgiving for a multitude of sins. But right now, I am talking to you about the L'Oreal Men Expert Vita Lift Moisturiser. So although I may not be using it for the effects of anti-aging, I am 28. It is better to start and get into these good skincare practices when you are young, because then it's something which you're going to get used to, and you're going to take it through into your 20, your latter 20s, your 30s, 40s, 50s, and so on, and hopefully you'll live a very long, healthy life, and you will look great throughout your whole life. Okay, so first things first, let's have a little bit of a chat about the cost. So this is 50 mils. Okay, now I've tried this product before, but because I wanted to showcase and review this on my channel, it's something which I purchased a couple of months ago. I used it several times, put it in a drawer, and then recently, within about the last month, I've got it back out again, and I've started using it. Not every night, perhaps once, twice a week, maybe sort of a couple of nights on a row I've been trying this. Um... I do like the product, I absolutely do like the product, and I can absolutely understand why there are so many good reviews online about this product. There are a few things which we are going to talk about, which aren't negatives, but they're just, I think, personal preference for me. Price-wise on this product, you really do have to shop around, because I have seen this from £6 all the way up to £15. So to save yourself some money, you do just have to be a little bit not frugal, I don't think that's the right word, um, but just be a little bit cautious because very often, I mean, even just in my local town in our high street here, um, here in my hometown, um, one store will sell it for about £6 and then if I walk three stores up to another different particular store, we're talking here in the UK, Super Dragon Boots, the price difference is absolutely incredible. So just be really careful. And again, if you're using it online, um, you can sometimes find better offers, of course, then as well. What do I like about this product? What I like about the product is that it has a lot to offer all in one product. So for example, it's five actions against the signs of aging, but bear in mind, stick with me. Yes, I'm 28. Yes, I possibly don't need to be using it for signs of aging. But when you are quite fatigued or you're quite tired or you're quite worn down, your skin really does tell all these signs. It gives you away. I know mine does. And particularly if I've not slept at night, the dark sort of nest, the dark areas around the eyes. So what this product says it does is wrinkles look smoother, moisturizes skin, enhances skin radiance, which of course I suppose that's what I'm looking for. Skin feels firmer and protects against external aggressors. So that means, for example, that could be the mixture of weathers which we get here in the UK, and of course fantastic for anywhere else in the world. One minute it can be absolutely blazing sun here in the UK, the next it can be absolutely hammering down with rain, and the next it can be that humid you can barely go out without your shirt absolutely sticking to you. Well, 
So this product really does look after your skin in all of those conditions. What I actually make a point of doing is I, or when I'm reviewing a product, I always try a the moisturizer I'm talking about in the morning and at night. Now I've done this very often, for quite a lot. I've made the decision that I don't put the product on in the morning. Um, like a couple of the moisturizers which I've tried and I've reviewed, I happily put them on in the morning after shaving and sort of like as an aftershave balm and of course under the eye area and the forehead area as well. Really, really nice. Straight away, what I find with this product is that we get to around, so I'm up at around five every morning. I start work very early. Um, I work from home at the moment. I get to around about two in the day and the product I can feel is sort of on my eyelids and it's starting to sort of make my eyes feel as though I've got a product running in my eyes. The worst feeling in the world. So very, very quickly for me, this is not a product which I wear in the morning. I've tried with just using a very small amount to even using barely anything and it happens. And whether or not I think because that sort of like where you're perspiring, your skin is of course generating all the time and, and it excretes oils and things. And I think then with the product on top as well in the, in that sort of circuit it starts to make your skin feel quite sort of um like you've got a bit of a heavy product there i wouldn't say it's the lightest product in the world but it is very good at what it does when i use this product at night and then i wake up in the morning and i wash my face i cleanse my face my face looks brighter it does absolutely increase the radiance of your skin now i don't mean a glow because i find that's a very very feminine way to say it but if you're anything like me, when you shave, you want your skin to feel good and comfortable and you don't want to be looking as though you're uncomfortable or in a rash or anything like that at all. You want to be walking around as though there's good lighting, let's put it that, that way. And if you've got any marks, any sort of acne scars or anything like that at all, or if you've got any blemishes on your skin, this stuff does really work. It really does make the skin look a whole lot more radiant, a lot more healthy and just ready for you to go. My only sort of bugbear with this is that it does make my skin feel a little bit sort of on the heavier side, so it's not kind of light. So if I sort of move my eyes like this, I can feel almost that I've got quite a heavy sort of moisturiser on, and I don't necessarily like that feeling. Um, it doesn't bother me, but I wear glasses and I have hearing aids. So if I do take it up over to my ears here, because very often the plastic of my hearing aids dries my skin out quite a bit. So I do take the moisturizer around my ears and just underneath the earlobes here. Um, what it does is it makes everything kind of a little bit greasy, not majorly, but it does make it feel a little bit greasy. So at the moment, there are good points and there are a few little bad points. But ultimately, it does make my skin more radiant. It does make my skin look more fresh and more ready to go. Absolutely. It's comfortable after shaving. It closes down all those pores. It doesn't make me feel agitated or sore. The only thing I would say, a couple of times I've gone too close to my eye and that has just made, and I haven't got it in my eye or anything, but it's just made that sort of sensitive skin a little bit sort of tender and for a little while it's just been a bit sore. But then, sort of the next time I used it, I kept it away, not so close to the eye area, and it really did just completely disappear. And I am back. Apologies about that. We're having some building work done here and I just had to go and help out with something. But let's get back to what we were talking about. So this product here, I was just talking to you about the eye area. So let's move on from that. So ultimately, it has good and bad points to it, but only just a few. But I do like this product. However, it wouldn't really be a product I would recommend for the daytime area. Just be daytime area throughout the daytime. Just because I found that it did start to go in my eyes a little bit. If you were using it just after shaving, then perfect. Absolutely. That's great for that. It really does look after the skin amazingly. Here, of course, ultimately, you would probably want to know, does it make the skin feel firmer? I don't think I can give a true sort of uh, review on that because, of course, I don't necessarily have areas of my skin where I would like to be firmer. The only thing what I can say is it does give my skin a real nice feeling that it's got that sort of that health, that vitality about it. And... Yeah, I do get some compliments about my skin, I have to admit, in my family, um, one or two sort of from my uh, brother's partners and things, so whether or not they're just saying that, I don't know, but ultimately, take from that what you will. Um, so I think, I think it's doing a pretty good job every now and again when I do use it. Um, Ultimately, I just want to tell you a little bit more about it, what's actually included in the product. So it says here, enriched with peppermint extract, which helps reinforce skin Skin's defences against daily aggressors, French vine extract, known for its antioxidant properties, French vine extract helps skin defend against external aggressors, which contribute to signs of ageing. It's a daily moisturiser, so a hydrating moisturiser that is non-greasy and quickly absorbed. That's the only thing which I wouldn't really kind of agree. If it's... It, 
it does absorb into the skin, absolutely, but not fully, I don't think. It's like I put this on this morning and I can still tell. In fact, I can see there's a bit of a shine on my skin, which a lot of men don't necessarily like. I don't like it. I like a product to be matte. I like it not to shine. Um, because then, of course, it's screaming that you've got a moisturiser or a product on your face. Um, so ultimately, I don't like that. So when it says that it's non-greasy, I don't necessarily completely agree with that. It is still, I mean, you can still, I wouldn't want to then go and touch like a TV remote or anything at the moment after touching my face. So for me, I don't wholly sort of agree with that completely. But it is a great product. It does deliver on a whole host of all different levels. But for me, it just possibly wouldn't be one for the daytime. It would be sort of of an evening when you go into bed, that type of thing. Wake up in the morning, cleanse your face, and you've got those benefits of it working throughout whilst your skin's regenerating itself throughout your sleep. Okay. And of course, if you don't sleep, it's really, really great at refreshing and really bringing that health and vitality back to those sort of dark areas around the eyes if that's something you have an issue with. Ultimately, I do like this one. Would I buy it again? Yes, absolutely. There are other products which I would go to beforehand, but it would certainly be a product I would use. And I think just ultimately just to show you this one as well, it comes in like a pump action here. So take the cap off here and then literally you just use the top nozzle here and then just squeeze it down and you do get that sort of nice sort of uniformed amount to be able to use all of your face and neck area as well which it does work um and it's 50 mils so you do get i would probably say it's about sort of the regular amount you would find in a men's sort of face cream sort of larger amount sometimes it will be nicer because it doesn't necessarily last that long if you use it morning and night or if, for example like me you would just use this one at night but ultimately an all-round good product so i would certainly recommend it give it a try throughout the daytime or in the mornings whenever you do cleanse your face in the morning but predominantly i would think it would be much more better in the evening and just after shaving possibly in the morning anyway you will work out what's best for you like i have with this product and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this clip i certainly have so on that note, thank you very much for your company. And as ever, it means the world to me. And we will see you shortly next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.